Well, hello and welcome to Eco Farms. This is episode 23. Uh, in this episode, we're going to start with just bringing in the straw, and then we will. Well, that's bringing in the straw for the first three fields that we have uh, harvested. So that shouldn't fill up the the pig pen with straw. And then we will get on with a joint venture that myself and the mayor of the town have been cooking up. But we'll get on to that a little bit later. First of all, let's have a look and see how much straw we can get in there. It's going to take a little while to get all the straw in. But it should work out quite well. Let's get that up and running. We'll do it on a bit of a time lapse. Well, you're back with me now, and we just got these all this last swath and the bits and pieces to pick up after that. It's been fairly successful, quite easy going. We're about half full on the straw in the in the pig pen, so I think uh, once we've harvested all the other crop, we are going to have to think about a storage solution for the straw. I don't want to sell it would like to keep it but we'll get onto that once the situation arises let's just get this last lot in we'll go and pop in deliver this last five or six thousand liters into the pig pen and then we'll get started on this little project that we've got with the town Pigs are pretty happy. Right, how much we got there? 84,000 litres? Yeah, just under half. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot of fields still to bring in, so I'm pretty sure we will be full up with straw by the, by the end of that, and uh, we'll be looking for storage solutions. Right, we'll just park this off here, because we will need it for the next month it's going to cost us a little bit to have it have these lease vehicles parked here but at least we won't have to incur the the initial costs which are quite high all right we've got got uh, mushrooms busy growing so that's pretty much okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go and we own a piece of land quite a big piece of land that borders on to the town and I've been chatting with the mayor and he's given us a 5,000 euro grant which he hasn't paid to us yet just by the way to establish um, some orchards close to town 
so that the public can pop in and do a bit of pick your own so they can pop in pop up to the uh, to the orchards pick some apples plums it won't be pears uh, I don't think I'll do pears I said him I already had a pear orchard so it'll be apricots and plums and we'll put some more apples in there. you can never have too many apples so I've loaded the trailer up with some compost just to get started it'll probably only do one of them so I think we'll put in a apricot orchard and a plum orchard and then we'll put in two two um, two rows of apple trees to make up a apple orchard and yeah instead of trying to explain to you where we're going to do it we'll nip one down there and we can show you just waiting for the water to fill up this is going to put a put our helium into the test pulling two trailers but it'll be okay a little workhorse. Right, so if we're heading back to town, as I said, the piece of land that we have does border onto town. Well, onto the residential area of the town, not onto the uh, onto the um, shopping area. The potatoes are just about ready to be harvested it's probably next month as well it's going to be a big harvest month next next month because the the rest of the wheat fields will need to be harvested both the sorghum fields will need to be harvested and the potatoes so yeah we are not going to have much sleep next month <laughs> that's the way it goes though so these are the fields that are sort of the farm fields and then basically if we cut across here we have a field that starts down at the bottom of the town and works up to or is I'm trying to think of the right word now so the field is it doesn't really border onto the farm it kind of touches the one corner the far left hand corner of the farm but I'll show it to you once we've set it up we'll we'll, we'll put it on the um, on the map and you'll be able to see exactly where we are so it's pretty much this area to the left of us now going all the way up to the corner of the cornfield that we have planted We'll put an apple orchard in there. Now the the funds that the mayor is going to be giving to us are not uh, intended for establishing the actual orchard, so it's only five thousand euros. Um, but it's to um, to build a, a access road and a little parking area for the townsfolk to come up and visit the the orchards yeah so that's 10,000 and it costs a bit because we have to put compost and all that type of stuff in whereas if we just do the straightforward apple tree orchards they, ju they only require water they kind of uh, produce about the same amount so we'll put two of those in people always go for apples first once again I could put loads of these in um, but our town is not big enough to to in theory I suppose um, consume all the all the product if we put you know a whole lot of those and it was the same with the mushroom orchards and the flower orchard or the flower not orchard um, greenhouses 
Right, so we have our first load of compost in. We'll uh, go and get that delivered. And then I think we, we will eventually put in a water point down here as well so we don't have to be running up and down for water. Um, for the time being we'll buy the compost from bring, bring it down from the farm. Of course we will be getting um, some organic material coming from actually I stand under correction I need to check that up but I I think we do get a organic um, just not sure how we collect it um, organic um, material from the orchards to put into the compost bin so we'll just nip up and go and get, get another load of compost at the farm now just to load up. I suppose I could have bought the um, the water trailer up as well and but um, I, I, I'm going to put in a a water source down at the at that area. If you establish that type of orchard you would definitely have a, a water source fairly close to hand. So we can put it another load of compost into the to the second orchard. I think this is the plum orchard, yeah, yeah. You see the sort of purple fruit on the trees. These orchards do take a little bit of work, but uh, it's okay because you know it does kind of simulate the, the fact that you know even if you are growing fruit trees, still there's still work that needs to be done. Right, let's get the water in. So this is quite useful because I didn't, I'd forgotten that we actually had this piece of land until I was thinking about buying a new piece of land and I checked up to see what we had and we had this piece of land that borders onto the town and I thought well that's quite useful because I looked at pretty much how much the yield that we got from the from the wheat fields and I know we've got quite a bit but I, I I, I just don't think we're going to have enough to to become even reasonably self-sufficient on um, on pig food. So I think we will do another. Well, we'll we've got the option to do another field now behind this orchard. I didn't really want to do it right up to the town, but. Once I spoke to the mayor of the town and we decided to put up these orchards as as like a, well it's for pick your own or the way, but it also creates a bit of a barrier between the town and the and the fields as such, which I think is good. So this is it here, as you can see, field forty five I think it was there. But we'll have, a, we'll have a closer look in a minute or two. Right, so these are the apple trees. We're just going to find a place to put the water tap in that is out of the way, but not too far away. I think uh, we're going to be driving around here quite picking up. Because we can see the, um, the spawning point for the pallets just the bottom right there. Um, I think we should put this at the back of this orchard. Yeah, somewhere around about here, I think. Yeah, that, that's where I think we'll put it. 
you can't even really see it. <laughs> That's because I didn't put it in. <laughs> uh, yeah. Any case, we'll get it sorted. We got it sorted eventually. Right, I'm just going to load up. I like this tap because it fills fills the tank up really, really quickly. So we've got 10,000 litres in the first orchard, we've put 10,000 litres in this and we've put 10,000 litres in each of the apple orchards and then we would, we'll have to nip back to the farm and go and pick up um, some plant, uh, fruit and plant fertiliser and then, and then we'll pretty much be in operation So, to simulate to pick to pick your own, we will collect whatever fruit is is generated by these orchards and sell it to the farmers' market, uh, regardless of the price and price in the farmers' market. And we, it's our farmers' market, the one that's in the little uh, grass square, and that would simulate the income for. The townspeople coming up and picking their own and paying for it, of course. It should be full. Go fill up this side. We're going to be doing little bits and pieces around the town area um, in conjunction with the town over the over the rest of the series to um, to show the growth of the town. So there might be more residential places going in, more shops, or maybe even of the uh, productions. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure whether we'll do that. But yeah, we'll be doing little bits and pieces. We'll work in in conjunction with the mayor of the town. But that'll that'll develop as we go along. Right now, we're just still trying to feed the people that are here already. Right, so we're going to um, we're going to put in some uh, cobblestone. I suppose you could call it a driveway up to the um, up to the pick your own orchards. We'll make a bit of a parking lot. It won't be huge. Yeah, a slight change in theme in terms of the roads. Just make it a little bit different. Instead of just putting tarmac down or asphalt, whatever you want to call it. I prefer tarmac in terms of but these are nice little cobblestones. Make a nice little feature out here. Not too big. Yeah, that looks about right. Maybe go a bit, bit closer to the fence. Yeah, we had to do a little bit of persuading for the with the uh, resident of the house but I think he saw the benefit of it he 
he does have a little ice cream um, business and we've said he could put an ice cream cart in <laughs> in the area so you can It's not like it backs right up onto his house. There's the guy in the corner there with a black car in his, in his yard. You can just see it over there with a grey car. But in any event, just complaining. To, oh, can I have this, I'm going to have this parking lot in my backyard. So we just kind of explained to him that uh, it's for the benefit of the whole, whole town. And uh, I think I think he was just uh, angling to get a little bit out of it. So I think he got actually what he wanted, and we'll just put that in fairly soon. We don't need any more sheds. That's where people could just go into that shed, then they'll pay for it. There we go. There's his ice cream cart, and he's just going to put it up somewhere, and he'll sell ice cream too. People when they come through, I'm sure the kids will be delighted. Let's put up some place for people to sit down and eat their fruit once they come in. Pick their own. So this has all been put up with a grant that really the mayor will pay back to us. So we we're paying for it now, but um once we've proved the expenditure, the mayor will, uh, will reimburse us. Well, he won't reimburse us. He's, he's given us 5,000 euros. And we will try and get as close to that as possible in terms of what we've spent. We've spent quite a bit on the, on the paving and the building the parking lot, all the bits and pieces. We might make a little bit of profit out of it. But hey, why not? Right, now that we've got that done, let's hook up the trailer and we'll need to go and get the plant and fruit fertilizer to come in. Give us a chance to test out our new cobble road. Handling very nicely. And we'll head up to the farm we we'll have to uh, take the sides off this trailer and then um, I think we'll need to get four ABCs of fertilizer. Here we are back at the farm and also we need to wait for the money to come in from the mayor for the job that we've just finished. I did send him a photograph and he said he'd, he'd get his folks to send it over as quickly as possible. Just get that all reconfigured. All done. Okay, my phone has just pinged and the 5,000 euros is coming to us. Good. So we're back at square, square-ish. Now we've got to spend pretty much all that money. <laughs> Uh, and some on uh, on fertilizer for the whole for the whole issue. Although it doesn't use a lot of it, it does last for a good good few months, but it is expensive. But then again, all, all organic material are are expensive. So our whole operation is pretty expensive. Right, they balance pretty precariously on the on their trailer. Could have loaded those a bit better, but we've got them strapped in, and we've pretty much made it down here to the. Whoa! Slow down! You nearly took the guy's fence out. <laughs> My goodness. Yeah. Right, we'll get these. Offloaded and into the two orchards. I 
think it's around the back. Yep, there we go. Drop them off there. We'll put uh, two of them into each of the orchards. Yeah, that is nearly off. And the last one to come up after this get them all activated and then that's pretty much that done so I think the townsfolk will be pretty glad that they've got a bit of an entertainment going <laughs> entertainment I don't suppose it's entertainment it's just a bit of bit of fun something to do I suppose that's entertainment I think that's probably the organic material so I'm just got to find out how to collect it but uh, we'll look that up and let you know as we go along In any case I think that's where we're going to end this episode just as we check to make sure that everything is activated in the next month we will uh, we'll get involved in a couple of episodes of of harvesting I think it's going to the harvest probably going to have to be separated over two or three episodes just going to top up these make sure that they're full of water the last one I think whoa there we go forgot to slow down again <laughs> oh dear 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 I don't think I'm ever going to learn that one I think this will take another full load as well Right, let's get this all hooked up and get back to the farm. Built our little land train again. Although a lot lighter than when it <laughs> when we came down here. Here we go. Right, well I think that's where this episode will come to an end. It's all looking rather nice. Cobblestones are good. Oh, there's just one more thing that I wanted to do. I just want to put in. I want to put in some uh, some little tracks, just to show people uh, that people have been walking through the area. I think that'll just add a little bit more. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I think this is that. Yeah. So if we just sort of make sort of tracks leading up to each of the of the orchards. bit of a last minute idea it just didn't look finished when I was w walking around there just uh, 
I just felt there was something missing and I think it's this. So it just gives you the the link between the the parking area and the and the orchards. We just make a make it look like there's some sort of system to walking around. And also not just having one path just into the orchard and just leave it. I suppose we could join it up around the top. Oh, that kind of looks okay. And maybe something from here going back down to down to the parking area. Yeah, it looks a little bit a little bit more used now, doesn't it? Fabulous. Yeah, I like that resist just putting another one in. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, nice nice new little feature It'll bring in a little bit more money every month. Right now I think I'm going to end this episode. <laughs> uh, in any case thank you so much for watching I do hope you've enjoyed this episode if you have please like and subscribe it does help me and we'll catch you in the next one cheerio